Um, so let's see what's coming your way. Let's see what we need to pay attention to, what's important to know, and it is for you and the person you are dealing with. And I really count on you to take only what resonates, leave the rest. So let's have the bottom of the deck for the overall energy, the most important one at this time. And we have the Six of Wands in reverse and the Chariot, Cancer Energy in reverse and the Nine of Pentacles and the Star and the Fool. A leap of faith. Uh, Taurus, somebody here feels ashamed. Um, I would say the state of the connection because we have here stuck energies. We do have the Chariot in reverse, which is like not a lot of movement. Wanting to get things moving, but being somehow ashamed. Six of Wands in reverse. Wanting a leap of faith, healing the connection, and commitment. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, right? Somebody wants to restart, um, you know, bond you have with someone, a connection, a relationship that you guys had. And, um, yeah, Nine of Pentacles is kind of a, a type of commitment, you know, based on 3D energies and, uh, and uh, building on something that, um, you know, was um, kind of founded in the past, right? But let's see. It has this element of risk, but before I say something, I just want to make sure I have Ace of Cups. They love you, Taurus. You are loved. Ace of Cups has the overall energy. is a lot of love, a lot of risk, um, and a lot of stability that somebody wants with you. So let's see what's going on. So past energy is on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual, and of course you take the side you resonate the most with, the messages you resonate the most with. Current energy is on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome for you, the person you are dealing with, and mutual, and bottom of the deck, um, Knight of Pentacles in reverse, this is your energy. You might be a little bit upside down about a about a, a thing or two and here comes the chariot again for some of you really is a cancer you are dealing with and uh, you show up as the queen of pentacles and it feels like you got stuck in a connection um you know unable uh, to move the way you wanted to move um but might be also um getting away from someone and staying there right for a while um doesn't feel like a separation it feels like more like a questioning what am i going to do it feels like a desire to win um you know maybe at some point you are wondering if this connection leads somewhere um we do have this energy of um of wanting to win wanting to move wanting to get uh things on the move but also in a successful way taking the connection to the next level, that's the chariot energy, and yet at some point um, it got impossible, right? And um, I believe we got you questioning, is this the right connection for me, right? Now this person, seven of pentacles in reverse and page of wands in reverse. Um, well, we're kind of impatient, um, kind of losing, you know, kind of a, you know, throwing um, temper tantrums um, in some way. And uh, they probably got disconnected sensually. Page of Wands in reverse is like not a lot of action happening in the bedroom. And I kind of feel on their side. Um, you know, they got impatient because of it. Maybe they were not fully served. Uh, it has this energy, right, of, um, of losing patience over sensuality, sexuality, uh, passion, you know, playfulness, that kind of energy. We do have the death in reverse, mutual energies, and the two of pentacles in reverse. It's kind of like abandoning the boat, but not fully, right? We do have the death in reverse, speaking of unfinished business, speaking of a connection not being completely um, ended. It speaks of energies not being told, uh, not being expressed, messages, and two of pentacles in reverse, about to give up, right? About to let this one go. So where are we right now? Justice um, upright and the nine of wands in reverse. I, um, so this is bringing some balance to a connection, bringing some fairness and justice, wanting and willing to take a chance and a risk, 
Uh, nine of Wands, I feel, um, Taurus, that you've been hurt by this person. Nine of Wands is stay away. Nine of Wands is nine wands around you to make sure nobody is entering sacred territory, right? Um, and yet I feel that it's, um, you know, justice is a compromise. It's finding a solution. It's uh, making a decision about a situation that is uh, completely, I would say, delicate. So I feel that you are ready to, like, Give it a chance, give it a go, but it, it involves taking a risk. Um, and this person, they want to talk. Ace of Swords, Upright, and the Eight of Wands, right? They want to talk. And that is a desire of starting all over again. Um, Taurus, Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, and the Fool. I mean, we know, we know the full energy is all about the full energy here is now we know better now we are smarter we went through this with the ace of swords i have a vision uh this can um lead right to to things and i um you know this is kind of a message the energy of this person wanting to take a chance take a risk and they are even manifesting ace of cups again with the magician so um, manifesting love towards each other, manifesting solutions, a new, a new life together, a new leap of faith, a renewal of this connection, and uh, feeling confident, right? The magician wanting to be the master of whatever is going on, being getting in control over a situation. The possible outcome, too bored to take action. What's going on, Taurus? Uh, we do have the Knight of Swords and the Four of Cups. I feel that the uh, second half of March, we are not paying attention here. And we might be uh, losing an opportunity to take action. Four of Cups is really not looking at the things, the opportunity, the blessing from the universe and focusing on the empty cups. And I feel that we are missing out on... And now that we know we are not going to miss out on an opportunity, but it feels like there is some action that we may not see coming. Now, this person of yours, the outcome is pretty simple. They are healing. Four of Swords, King of Wands, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, King of Wands, is um, like a leadership action um, taker kind of energy, but with the Four of Swords is a planned and strategized one. But they are healing, so... You know, they are a little bit, I don't want to say stuck, because it's not fully, it's just a bit of, of stuck. But there is progress in thought, in there is progress in um, action, and that is also in uh, planning and strategizing. So, Six of Cups. I turn the, uh, it's the only card I don't read in reverse, because it's the soulmate card, this body, mind, and soul. It's all about um, connection, and the Six of Swords in reverse um coming back to each other i actually the whole reading is about taking a leap of faith and um, a renewal of this connection that is no doubt they are passionate about you that is no doubt they are thinking they want to talk they want to clarify things they are manifesting a renewal um and things were left unfinished which kind of tells the um, that they are still involved emotionally um taras with you um so yeah let's ask for some guidance let's see what we need to know well we better get enlightened by this experience this is luminosity the energy of awakening the energy of it served a purpose to be enlightened spiritually awakened um inner peace i feel that this is what we need to work on at this time Reparenting yourself. This is about unlearning how to do relationships and learning new ways. It's all about patterns in love and relationships. And I kind of feel that is something we need to work on. And compatibility. Oh my God, that's a big homework. Inner peace, reparenting yourself and compatibility. I feel between you and your person might be actually an issue of being compatible. Bottom of the deck, express love through gifts. A small token of love can convey great appreciation. I know. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Right? Now that we are awakened, the next step might be uh, the inner peace. How can we achieve this? And, and I feel, yes, it is a new, it, it is a renewal of and a leap of faith, but it comes with... Um, 
you know, questioning compatibility, questioning the way we do connections, relationships, family, uh, love for that matter, and what brings peace of mind to you. So energies we want to put back into the flow, definitely self-esteem now that we are awakened and we went through this and we know what this is all about. Taurus, I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. This is how you activate this, right? These are words of affirmation. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. We do have surrender your addictions. Whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. How about telling yourself the truth? We have reparenting yourself patterns and, and trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly, right? Intuition and trust. Surrender negative thinking. You have control over your thoughts. When negative uh, thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmation. And then we have release bottom of the deck. You have the ability uh, to give over unwanted energies to the loving forces of the universe. So you have control over yourself and over the whole situation here. Now, Taurus, this is all that I have for you guys. There is no doubt this person wants back. There is no doubt they love you. A uh, he or she. And wants to take a leap of faith just as I feel you want to take a leap of faith with them again. Um, yeah. Hey, please take care. Please stay safe and come see me next time. Bye. Love you.